back with another video for you. This time picking rocks. This was soybeans last year, and the best time for us to pick these rocks, at least mechanically, is after beans. There's uh, very little residue sitting on the surface, relatively small amount. And one pass of the field cultivator brings up some rocks. I'm not sure if it's going to show up, but uh, ahead and just to the left of the tractor is the windrow that I've accumulated coming across from the left side of the field over to where we are now. I, pulled, I have one intermediate windrow rocks there and then I've got one immediately to my left ahead of me. What this is doing is basically just kicking rocks in front of that drum which has got big carbide tipped, uh, hardened tips on it. It's kicking them all to the right where that piece of rubber sort of drops them in a little roll. So I just keep going around and around at about uh, three and a half miles an hour. And this rate is 15 feet wide. And there's probably about, uh, I don't know, 70 acres I got to do. So there's two days of raking. Then there's a rock picker, which is, uh, let me show it. Back behind me, back in the corner on our tractor. That's five feet wide, but it's got a reel. And um, you come along with the, the picker and go real slow an inch along the windrow of rocks. And uh, pick them up. And you take the hopper, I think it's a three cubic yard, two or three cubic yard hopper. It's a right way 900. And uh, I don't know how many tons that is. I think it's about five tons or seven tons of weight. But, to, and then uh, we got certain spots along the edge of the field. We, we own some of this ground and we'll just dump those rocks in there problem is these rocks get stuck and break equipment so we try to get rid of them as best we can of course you're always stopping and picking them by hand but there's just too many acres to do I used to be high school kids would do that and pick rocks walking alongside a loader and, and throwing them in but there's really very few young people in the countryside here and they have other job options opportunities so it's uh, machinery, machinery to do this as a substitute for labor. But it's a, a beautiful day out here, and it's supposed to rain in a few days, so I want to try to get this picking done. And then after the rain, I'll come back and field cultivate this field one more time, this 100 acres, and I'll get planted to corn. Thanks for watching. Bye.